Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenya with BK Trading Academy. And in today's training, I wanna to talk to you about a very important risk management concept that I feel is overlooked and is very important. And it is the power of trading with 10 cents a pip. So in Forex trading in particular, I'm gonna apply this to that market. We'll talk about maybe stocks and other stuff at a later time, but using a very small position like 10 cents a pip will change your life, especially as a beginner or a struggling trader. I wish I knew this when I first started, but honestly, I was just too uh, focused on making money really quickly and turning a profit. And I was using really large lot sizes. It gave me no buffer in my account. And I ended up blowing several accounts back to back to back, getting emotionally frustrated, wanting to quit. And then I would tell myself, well, I'm really good at this, <laughs> even though I'm making these stupid mistakes, but I know how to trade. I know how to make money. I'm just having a really hard time with being disciplined and part of the reason for that was because i wasn't following a set of rules i didn't have really strict conditions for why i was entering a trade or what was my plan if the market went against me my stop loss didn't make sense for the type of trade that i was putting on so that's why i didn't have confidence in keeping it i just didn't have a really tested strategy that really worked well and to be honest i was lost when it came to risk management i didn't really have a good example or solid mentorship when it came to that and i do feel that that's the problem for a lot of traders you may get started in a particular program and maybe you feel like you have the direction that you need and before you know it you still feel stuck or you feel lost and so those are things that i learned in a previous program wanted to take those things and incorporate into our program to remove those gaps for a lot of students so when you hear our students talk about our program you're going to hear a lot of feedback about risk management and how much they love it because that's our number one priority so I want you to think about trading 10 cents a pip and that's it. And what I recommend is that you try this on an account balance between two to $5,000, do nothing but a 10 cent lot size. And I'm gonna show you how to use that and how to apply it on your chart. So before we do that, I need you to do me a favor and smash the like button on this video. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And my gift to you is showing you one of my top risk management techniques, especially for new and struggling traders. Let's go. What we're looking at here on my screen is a position size calculator. The very first thing you wanna always do is calculate your risk. Now, before you trade, you need to know, okay, what am I risking and what am I comfortable with? A lot of traders will ask me, well, where should I place my stop loss? And honestly, I can tell you where to place your stop loss, but if I tell you where to place your stop, you might not be comfortable with that. So the thing is, is that when it comes to stop loss and risk tolerance, that's different for everyone. And you have to decide what's best for you. So this is how I would approach this. Let's say if we had a $15,000 account, we want to risk 2%. Let's say we're intraday trading, maybe doing some scalping. We're going to do a 50 pip stop loss and we're going to calculate that risk. Based on this $15,000 account, our max drawdown can be $300. That means with no open trades, we must not lose more than $300 today while we're trading. Now the highest lot size we can use is $4. So now let's take this information. We have $300 to work with in drawdown. What I recommend is staying halfway between that number. So instead of 300, if you get close to 150, then you need to start closing trades. That's how you're gonna live to trade another day. You don't wanna put all of your eggs in one basket. You don't wanna be close to your max drawdown because you'll be stressed out when you're trading so this is how I recommend applying this technique and just tr trust me I just need you to go try it report back to me and let me know how it works out for you I recommend that you do this with a two thousand to five thousand dollar account okay if you have more great but when you are new and developing it's important that you not risk too much and you don't want to risk too much of your own money too soon so what I recommend is that after you've traded in a simulator or practice account for some time, start small inside of a live account, maybe two to three hundred dollars, and just practice with a 10 cent lot size. Because the goal is to make sure that you can apply your rules correctly, that you know how to trade the conditions that your strategy is for, and also you know how to follow a risk technique with discipline and consistency. So once you do that, you want to start small in a live account. But let's take these numbers. We're going to apply it to Euro AUD. Okay. Now let's say we wanted to find a, a trade on this particular pair, and we're going to plan out our risk. So one of the things that we see is that this particular pair is currently in an uptrend. So here's our bullish trend. And then we are going to define our levels and where we want to consider a trade. So this morning during the New York session, we saw the price get as high as this area here where we see that rejective wick. 
So we're going to go ahead and put our resistance level there. So the price is far from that resistance, right? And because we have a bullish structure, although we have strong rejection at this level, I also see that we have an imbalance between buyers and sellers. So if you look left, we don't have any price action here to the left. So that was a signal that, you know what, if we look further out to the weekly or monthly and see a previous turning point, which is probably somewhere in this area, it's most likely that the price was going to come down in this particular location, which it did. So now that the price has fallen back and we are in an uptrend still, we want to find our buy opportunity. So what you'll notice is that this area here, so right here where this was previous resistance at 1.6290 area, notice that we wicked above that. And before that, we had resistance right here at 1.6245. We wicked above that a bit. And then finally, bulls were strong enough to break through, but we're wicking, which is a sign that sellers came in and pushed that price down and we saw selling pressure. So let's count these pips. So from this wick to where the price is now, that's 150 pips. So the price has rolled back 150 pips. But I also see the best area where we possibly could buy is right at 1.6172, which is a very strong su support area in the market. And it was also resistance. So look how much the market provided a rejection to the downside. It was also support and it was also support. So when you are looking for an area to trade, you want to focus on your strongest technical levels where the market served as both support and resistance. You're looking for areas where the market made a very forceful reverse to the opposite direction and you want to look at that with both support and resistance. So what we can see here is that sometimes the price might not get all the way back here. So it might not get to our target support area, right? So we look in the past to see what price has possibly done to consider what it possibly will do in the future. So now that we're holding support right about here, you'll notice that it was resistance right in the same area, okay? So I believe that the price is going to go up from this area probably throughout this session today or later into the London session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan a buy level at previous support, okay? Right here. So this is our previous day support and you'll see that it was also resistance and it was also support. Since the market is not holding up here where our previous resistance was, it's rolled back further than that. This is the next zone down where I believe we could get a buy opportunity. And that buy opportunity, you might be wondering, well, how much more can we buy? It really just depends. We have to consider fundamental factors. We want to look at what's going on there and then how long are we holding the trade? We see that we have this large wick rejection here. So that's a signal that, you know, the price actually could keep dropping and we want to consider that. But based on what we're seeing, we're going to take that lot size, right? That $5 and we're going to put on a trade. Let's say that the market comes down to our target area here. So this would be at about 1.61, let's say 84. We get into the trade and then we want to take this to the next high right here at about 1.6300 or so. Okay. Nice little intraday trade. So based on what we have to work with, how should we apply our risk? Well, this is what I recommend. So instead of using high lot size, you put on a dollar and you put three, three positions at a dollar, right? Well, the one reason why you don't want to use large lot sizes is because number one, you're going to pay higher costs to your broker and the spreads and the commission are going to eat up your profits, especially if you end up holding the trade overnight. So you might find yourself profitable one day and then you find yourself sitting in massive drawdown the next day, especially if it hasn't hit your stop loss yet. Or let's say it just, there's volume is slow and it's been slow to get to your target. But if your position is too big, then you're going to pay higher costs to your broker. So imagine this, okay? So imagine that you got in early. Let's say you got in early because you didn't have the best entry. So you got in right here for a buy. You got in at 1.6261. But let's say the price rolled back and let's say you got in with a dollar lot size and then the price went down to this area about 80 pips to the downside. So let's say you didn't have a stop loss and now you're negative $80. So your negative $80, well, the good thing is you still have more money to play with. So if we look at this, based on this, you still have another $4 that you can use, right? But let's say you go put on some other trades and you enter into some other currencies and now you're using about $4 of your lot size and you're sitting with a drawdown of like 250. You're close to that 300 mark. That means you need to start closing trades. But guess what? Had you use a 10 cent lot size, if you were negative on a 10 cent position, you would have only been negative about 80, 
eight dollars okay not eighty dollars or ninety dollars you would have been negative about eight or nine dollars and i know that that does not seem like a lot because if it goes your way then let's say it goes 80 or 90 pips your way then you would be positive eight or nine dollars but what i'm trying to show you is that you're going to have more of a buffer or wiggle room when you use a very low lot size like 10 cents a pip so instead of putting on one position at a dollar the market moves against you 80 to 90 pips and now you're negative you know, almost $100, you could have instead executed this position with multiple 10 cent positions. So let's say you got in here with 10 cents a pip, the market goes against you by 90 pips. Let's say if you had three positions, you would just be negative, uh, that would be $9. So nine times 327, you'd be negative $27. That's not gonna, you know, drain your $15,000 account. You still have a lot of room. So what you could do, you could literally have seriously 20 trades going on this this one particular pair at 10 cents a pip and now as the market moves in your favor let's say it goes 60 pips to the upside and let's say you have five positions staggered at different places you have one position at 1.6265 maybe you added two more at 1.6213 and then you added three more at 1.6172 now you might say why would i keep adding to a losing position it's not that you're adding to a losing position you had a game plan before you got into the trade you already know that every time you get into a trade you're not going to have the perfect entry or execution so you need to decide based on what you're seeing where can the price go well we know that this was previous resistance is spiked up right and normally previous resistance becomes future support but we saw that this big rejection was a sign that the market was probably going to continue to push down so when you become comfortable with a pair's movement and let's say it's moved anywhere from 100 to 200 pips let's say it moves on average about 100 to 150 pips a day and it moves into a strong reversal zone you know that your opportunity is coming i know that i can get a buy somewhere off of this level majority of the time when i see a setup like this so what I'm going to do is that if I don't get the best entry, I'm going to lower my position size, widen my stop loss, and that will give me more of a buffer while I'm trading because guess what? Even if I'm negative 10 cents on a position, I can make that back a lot faster than being negative $90 on a dollar lot size, okay? When you trade with small positions or small lot sizes, it's gonna give you more wiggle room and more advantages. And that's how you wanna trade. You have to think about what the market makers do well. This market is not set up for us to succeed and to make uh, all the money <laughs> because if that's the case everybody would be doing it but it you have to think about you are an opponent and how are you going to compete against your competitor that's how it is so you're you're trying to discover ways to stay strategic and also to have an advantage when you trade and that is how you're going to do it by trading very small position sizes so what you can do is that even if you had got in up here and the market goes against you let's say you're able to make it up down here you enter let's say three more positions and now the price goes in your favor you've made about let's say uh, 10 times six you made 36 bucks and you close that first position with a very small loss that's what you're going to find yourself in most times is either closing with a small loss or you have made up for it by getting a better entry and if you're trading from the best levels then you're going to put yourself in that position so so I want to encourage you to trade with a 10 cent position on a $2,000 to $5,000 account. And you don't want to go crazy just adding on numbers of positions anywhere. You want to be strategic about where you're placing those particular positions. Remember, you want to find very strong structure levels to trade. So if you're trading in an uptrend, where are the strongest levels to trade in that uptrend? Where do you see a very powerful turning point? Because let's say, for example, if the market even came here and what if it keeps breaking what if it goes here for example should you cut a loss if you're only trading you know a 10 cent position and you have five positions and maybe they're negative at 40 40 pips each right if you're nowhere near your daily max risk of 300 dollars, let's say you're negative i don't know i'm just gonna throw out a hypothetical number let's say you're negative 48 dollars. does it make sense to cut a loss if you can trade two percent at a max drawdown of 300 no it doesn't make sense to cut a loss in my opinion because you still can have an opportunity to make up for that drawdown especially if you're trading from a very strong level or turning point in the market and you can see that this is a strong area of support and this is too but it very well could break and even come in 
retest here. And if that happens, you should be able to still make up for your drawdown, especially if you see that the market has dropped already hundreds of pip and it drops into a very strong reversal area. This is not going to all come together until you start trading and journaling and seeing the consequences of your trade and how the market plays out. It will then all start to click and make sense. But the main thing I want to have you walk away with is the power of trading a small position size like 10 cents a pip. And I know that it doesn't sound like a lot of money, but I want you to know that there is power in trading a 10 cent position. And once you place multiple positions and you really place them in strong areas in the market, you can turn a very decent profit. You won't trade stressed out. And as you grow and become a more confident and profitable trader, you have more money, you're properly capitalized, you know, you have a lot more money in your account, then you can slowly scale up. So guys, that is what I wanted to share with you today. If you are a newer struggling trader, I encourage you to check out the description of this video. Learn more about BK Trading Academy. We truly do hold your hand and help you master all the essential steps to become a profitable trader you just need to follow what we've laid out that's all you have to do don't rush trust the process and just follow our guidance i hope that you found value in this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching